What on earth are you doing now? Piers, this is a pressure push, great drill for long drives, which I think you might need. <laughs> Hi, it's Piers and Andy from Me and My Golf. It's the Impact Show, and we're talking about three key moves for longer drives. It's all right. That's okay. long. Let's take charge of your game. Still going. So as you can see, we're on the 14th fairway here at the Asprey in the golf course. Andy is looking really good at the moment, Sharp. ready for the season. So we need to play here this year. Should we I try and do. do that? Yeah, I think we should. So as you've, as you've been aware, May at Me and My Golf has been all about the drivers. So we've got a really good show today to finish off the month, the theme for the month, talking about how we are going to use the ground. But before we get into that, we're getting loads of comments and questions at the moment. So if you are struggling with your game, any questions you have about your game whatsoever, please comment below and we'll get back to you and figure out how we can help you. So Andy, we mentioned we're talking about pressure. Really important. It's a, sometimes people, it's kind of hard for them to get their head around it. We've got the body track in play to help us with this today and show yeah. off how your pressure works and how you move your feet in your, in your golf swing. But it's it's huge now for these long hitters to understand how they move the pressure in their golf swing, isn't it? Yeah, and it is. And if we can apply some of the things that they do to the guys who are watching this, then look, if we can use the ground better and use that pressure, mm -hmm. we are going to hit longer drives. And I know every single person watching this video wants to hit the ball a little bit longer. Wants to do that. Now, the good thing is, we're going to show you with this body track. You don't need to buy a body track. All you need to do is buy a tennis ball. A tennis ball. And you're going to chop it in half like so. And this is really going to give you a feeling of what pressure is because pressure is different to weight but this is really going to highlight and get you to feel the difference between pressure and weight okay so we said three moves yes let's go through the first one shall we okay so i'm just going to drop these down by the way the i actually really do i do this a lot myself but i actually do this without golf shoes on as well so doing it in the house without golf shoes with this tennis ball works really well so what we want to do is get the tennis balls on the ground you're going to place the tennis ball underneath the arches of the feet. Now from here, what we're looking at doing, and this is what the best players do, Pierce, in terms of getting the pressure over to the um, trail side, is that they almost push off the lead side to start with. So they'll have this push off the lead side, and then they'll actually sort of turn and load and then start pushing into the trail side. And this pressure push enables them to get back into this leg to then be able to drive back. So the pressure starts on the left, it pushes then to the right, and is, I mean, when we talk about pressure, yeah. it's the vertical push that's mm -hmm. going into the ground. It's not about weight like this, yeah. it's the actual pushing from the ground. And these tennis balls enable you to feel that push. And if we think about Joe Miller, we've spoken to him about this, this is a specific drill that he does, former world long drive champion, Rory McIlroy, we've yeah. spoken to him about this. We see Henrik Stenson do this, do that push. And I think it's really important to know how to do this. So how do, you, how do we do this in the Okay, drill? so this is what I like about this. Club across your shoulders without the club first in the hands. And all we're going to really do is actually, if we get it in the right place, we're going to feel the difference. We're going to push from side to side like yeah. so. So I'm really getting the feeling of pushing from left to right. And as I'm doing this, I'm starting to turn the body and get the feeling of actually what this pressure is. As I turn to the top now, I'm then pushing the pressure to that trail side. So I get the feeling of actually mm. this pushing effect from up and down, this vertical force as I load into that backswing there. And this is a great feeling for this because when we get to hit the shot, we want this push from here to here, but that feeling of the ground working up or the feeling of the, the feet working more down into the ground. Okay, and you can see he's got the tennis balls there right through the middle of the arch in his feet. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing move really and not many people think about how their feet work in their golf swing from this point of view. Exactly. They may point them in slightly different directions for alignment or flare them out for better rotation, but to actually feel how you use the ground is really important. And then from there, you know, take it to the golf club, you know, side to side like this as we start to move, pushing from the left and then pushing to the right. I really feel now that my pressure is pushing down through the tennis ball. Yes. Big difference between just moving to the right. Of course. I don't feel the pressure there. I'm feeling it push into the ground, I'm ready now to actually drive back. That's the key. Okay, so let's see you hit one, and we're gonna talk about the dangers that can happen when someone moves too much. Now Andy's gonna hit the golf ball I'll leave these with in. the tennis balls I'll in. I'll leave yeah? these in, yeah. Okay, now okay. you don't have to do that. You can just use it as a drill, but you can so actually you can hit golf just, balls as well. I'm getting the feeling of that pressure under the feet straight away, even before I start here, okay. Nice. So again, okay. my focus there purely on pushing and then pushing into that right leg. Okay, all right. So let's get you in 
for the next one. Okay. So next drill, next move. Next drill, look, important thing is, yes, we want to get the pressure into that trail leg, but what's going to help us is actually rotation. So I'm going to just place this through the belt loops, the alignment stick. Again, you can do this at home. Get one right through the belt loops like so. One across the shoulders, in position. If you want to leave those in, then great. But all we're going to focus on here now is I can start with a push, and then as I turn back, I want to make sure my upper body goes, let's say, 90 degrees. Yeah, approximately. I want to see that lower body work about half at 45 degrees there. It's very difficult to get the pressure into the leg if we're only really turning 10 or 20 degrees. Yeah. So from here, really rotating that upper body 90, but seeing the difference where that lower body, you can see that I've got at least 45 there. I can really feel the pressure into that tennis ball now and I'm ready loaded behind the goal. So the first drill you have there, you're actually just combining this exactly. into it to help it grow and evolve So we can even, even start again, push, 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 rotate, nice. load into that pressure there, great rotation. I'm gonna hit the golf ball so a long you way. You realize this. this is Monday. There's people gonna get sacked at work on Tuesday because they're gonna spend five hours in the office doing this the next day. Okay, so hitting a golf ball now as well, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So all we're gonna do then is take that feeling to the shot. So leave those in still actually, I'll leave those in. So from here now, I'm really gonna focus on turning now and getting that rotation on the backswing and then feeling that pressure into that trail leg. Okay. Okay, here we go. So this one's gonna be a better one, Pierce. A little bit more turn on this one. A little one. bit more turn, a bit more power. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm building my way up to the building last one, Building your way Let's see if you've got it a little bit further that time. We'll see what happens. That oh yeah, yeah that's like 15 that yards further, that one was. Yeah, okay, 273. Nice. Okay, so third move, because as we said, the danger maybe for some people when they're trying to shift pressure is that they actually start moving too much and swaying. So how can we combat that? So yeah, so as you mentioned, Pierce, we don't want that sway. So whenever we talk about weight shift or pressure shift, what we don't want to see is a push this way and then just a sway of the lower body because that's going to limit the amount of rotation and pressure you can build up. So what we're going to focus on this now is doing, I'll go back to the club across the shoulders, is from here, we're going to rotate. But what we're going to focus on is limiting any lateral movements of that lower body. We're going to swing back, turn, but we're now going to put the pressure on the inside of the tennis ball. I don't want my pressure rolling towards the outside of the tennis ball because that would get the instability of that lower body and I'm losing that ability to really use that trail foot pierce. So you see that on the body track, you're actually obviously moving out. All I can see is the outside of your foot there. Exactly, yeah. So what we're going to focus on is putting the pressure on the inside of the tennis ball as I'm rotating, the lower body now is being really challenged, but from here now, I've almost got this sort of spring ready to load and drive back yeah. and on call to the target. And I think the thing with this is you need to be aware that Andy's a good athlete. You need to understand that this can be hard for you to do. The key thing really is to get the rotation. That's the most important thing. There's things you can do with the foot position to allow you to keep the weight more on the inside, yeah. but I think drilling it and working at it as a practice swing is really good and hopefully you can do it when it comes to the shot as well. So I want to take these away now for the last one. Oh, you want to see, I've got yeah, the feeling. Go. I want to use the, the ground a bit more now. So you probably put some holes in that mat actually. <laughs> so I'm going to go the practice swing. I've got the sensation now of the feet. So I'm going to swing back, really low turn, but feel that stable base. And from here now I can then hopefully get one out there a little further again, Pierce. So combining all three moves, you've got 273 to beat. Well, that's no problem. Best shot. That's a nice little fade down a the left baby side. baby fade, but it's a long baby fade, Pierce. I'll tell you how long in a moment. It's gone that far, has it? It's still going. <laughs> 290. 290.2. No, That's bad. pretty decent, isn't it? Not bad. They, they, you can see they progressively they get better. They got straighter as well. They did. Okay, very good. So look, there's obviously a few things going on there, but all you really need is that tennis ball chopped in half and then just stand on it and get that, get used to that feeling of how to use the ground in your golf swing. Yeah, I think if you can have the pressure push to start, if you can get the rotation in the back swing, but then have the stability, those three key things are definitely gonna help you hit longer drives. 100%. So as we said at the beginning of the video, these videos are all about you. We want you to improve. So post any comments and questions you have about your game down below and we'll get back to you. Now, the next thing we need to ask you is, do you have a go-to shot? Now, if you haven't, you need to head over to mirmygolf.com where you can see the latest Mir My Golf Weekly, which is all about developing that go-to shot, hitting the fairway under pressure is what you need. 
So if you want to see that video and develop your go-to shot, click the link in the corner and we'll take you straight to the website and we'll see you over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.